All right, question time. Which one came first? Was it Delibird or was it Santa Claus? Was Santa inspired by the Pokemon giving gifts to travelers in the mountains? Or did Delibird's ancestors hang around the North Pole too much? Hello and welcome, I'm Cool Pikachu, and today we are continuing our challenge to create Pokemon regional variants for the whole Johto Pokedex. Today we are taking on Delibird, very fitting since this episode is dropping in December. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Delibird is classified as the delivery Pokemon, and it definitely takes inspiration from a certain someone. You know who. Other creatures that inspired it were penguins, which I find amusing since Delibird is a flying type. Flying penguin! Going in, I knew I was going to keep it as a penguin. This guy is still penguin man. Instead, I focused on how Delibird took inspiration from good old Santa Claus. And Santa Claus is vital to Christmas. Therefore, I had the bright idea to base these variations off of different holidays. I chose the most commercialized ones because those were the easiest to come up with. So without further ado, let's get designing. First up, let's start with the Halloween variant. I knew I wanted to create Delibird's face mask as a skull. I considered taking inspiration from the Day of the Dead, but I decided to keep things simple. I ditched Delibird's long beard and made it shorter so that it resembles the mouth of a skull. Delibird usually have this little dot underneath its beard for some reason, so I decided to expand on that and turn the pattern into a shape that looked like a hip bone. I made a small circle just above that to represent the beginning of a spinal column plays into the whole skeleton theme I was going for. For the tail, I kept it the same as Delibird because I thought it already looked like a trick-or-treat bag. I gave it Halloween colors with its purple body and orange beak. And here it is, Halloween Delibird. I feel like this one is the normal Delibird's opposite. Maybe it takes food and gifts instead of giving them out. Next up, we got the Valentine Delibird, which you guessed it, is inspired by Valentine's Day. While designing this variation, I kept cupids in the back of my mind. For its face mask, I made the feathers shaped like a heart. The Delibird beard, that's what I'm calling it from now on, was shortened, and the horn-like feathers were softened and rounded, so that it appears more like a heart shape. I also turned the white dot into a little heart. Now, while designing this, I kind of forgot that Delibird can fly. My brain was like, penguin. It cannot fly. So I didn't realize that by giving it a set of Cupid's wings, I was essentially giving it two sets of wings. I'm no biology major, but maybe this means that this Delibird variation is the fastest out of the bunch. Double wings, double speed? For the colors, I made the body pink, keeping it in line with the Valentine's theme without it looking too much like the Christmas variation's red. And here it is, Valentine Delibird. I think this one might develop a fairy typing and have the ability cute charm. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, next one is the Lucky Delibird, which is inspired by St. Patrick's Day which means I took inspiration from leprechauns. For the face mask on this one, I shortened its beard so that it looked like a beard a leprechaun would have. I turned the horn-like feathers into a top hat, kind of like how Honchcrow has a similar thing going on. The little dot was changed into a four-leaf clover, and the tail was transformed into a pot of gold. Maybe this one looks for gold and stores it in its tail. Ooh, it can learn payday level up instead of present. Which, speaking of, Delibird's only move it can learn by level up was present until Gen 7 when they decided to give it Drill Peck at level 25. So how do you find a pot of gold? By following the rainbow, of course. I gave this variation a rainbow coming out of its tail. I had to give it a green body because St. Patrick's Day, and I changed the white feathers to black in order to better represent its top hat and cauldron. And there we have it, Lucky Delibird. Maybe seeing one of these gives you good luck on your travels. Perhaps it's also the rarest out of the variations. I don't know, tell me your theories in the comments below. Now, there were other highly commercialized holidays that I thought of, like Easter or 4th of July, but I didn't really feel like doing them because we already have Lucky Delibird to kind of represent springtime, and I didn't want to create another Delibird that had red and had a top hat. So, this one is Party Delibird. What's the best holiday about your birthday, am I right? I drew inspiration from clowns of all things, which I don't know where that tradition of having clowns at a birthday came from, but uh, here we are. I transformed the beard into a ruffle collar and gave it a circle on the top of its head to represent a party hat. Now for the fun part. I turned its tail into balloons. For the color palette, I used red, yellow, and blue. I made the body blue simply because I wanted to use a color that wasn't present in the previous variations. Speaking of the color blue, did y'all know that this Pokemon is in the water one egg group. Hello, this penguin can breed with a clam. I know this isn't the biggest offender on what Pokemon can breed with whom, but what and why? And there we have it, Party Delibird. 
I can see this one just floating around instead of using its wings to fly. Yo, I was surprised at how fun it was to come up with these. So much potential. And I hope I delivered. Next week is Mantine, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, hope you have an amazing day, everyone. Just remember to stay cool. Catch y'all later.